guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. This is your month ahead reading. Get a snack, sit back, relax and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your uh, month ahead reading today. just want to show you the decks that we're using for this particular reading, guys. We are using the uh, Everyday Witch Tarot. No, no, no. Let me start that again. We're using for the main reading the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot Miniature Desk uh, deck. You guys know that I moved house recently and I really did, um, you know, reduce my office area into something smaller, uh, which I really love actually. So I'm using miniatures with, I think, with the, um, with spreads like the, um, with spreads like the Celtic Cross and stuff. So we're going to use the Radiant Wise Tarot miniature deck for the Celtic Cross we're doing for October. We are using the Everyday which is miniature deck by Deborah Blake for uh, for any clarifiers that we might need on some of the areas. And we're also going to use the Chinese Fortune reading cards for your spiritual message for the month. So guys, yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy your reading. Hi Sagis, welcome to Carl's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. We're going to do your October 2020 uh, reading. Okay, so geez, we've got the cards down. So this area here, I always say to the universe, you know, universe what is it that such and such a sign is dealing with what are they focusing on what's happening so this is always what's being dealt with what you're facing in the in the given month which is october and that's the ace of wands in the reverse um and that card kind of just flipped out reversed and i knew that it was meant to be there so the ace of wands in the reverse is a non-starter it's something that doesn't even get started or with the ace of wands in the reverse you may be feeling a lack of confidence or it may be that uh, there's an error of judgment. You might have planted some seed, but it doesn't really grow. Unfortunately, this is a card that would allude to the idea that something doesn't really get off the ground or it's a false start or there's an error going on here or uh, there's a lack of kind of feeling a lack of empowerment or feeling a lack of power uh, or feeling, um, you know, this is, if, if you were looking in, actually, I don't think we're meant to mention any, any things like this on YouTube, but, uh, you know, if you were to look at this sexually, this would be something that... um alludes to a certain uh, genitalia and things like that. I don't think I'll go down that road, but I'm just trying to give you a few examples here. Uh, lack of power, uh, disempowerment, as of ones in the reverse showing up here. Um, you know, a seed that doesn't grow, something that doesn't get off the ground, uh, something that doesn't get started, a lack of motivation, uh, eight of wands in the reverse, a lack of energy, eight of wands in the reverse. Let's have a look. There's all sorts of things with that card. What's influencing that eight of wands in the reverse? Right, so there has been this huge, uh, I think that, that there's, that, I mean, the tower is a card about, it's not always chaos, but there could have been something that's shaken you. The tower for me is a card that represents something that's shaken the client. You know, this could be something unexpected happened. This is a Something that is, I mean, this may be you deciding, you are Sagittarius fire, and this is fire, ace of wands in reverse. You may decide that you don't want to start something here in in, uh, in October 2020, because maybe the foundation for it isn't very stable. Maybe this is something that you can't build on. The tower showing here. Uh, let's have a look. Who's caused this? What's caused this? Oh, the root issue for why this is occurring is because of this, the Ten of Swords. Um, you know, I'm really sorry about those cards, but I, I, I'll be honest with you, Sagis, I don't like what I'm seeing on this reading so far, I won't lie, I really don't, um, because the cause of this is, the cause of that is this, and to me this looks like, you know, and at the end of the day, when I'm shuffling cards, Sagis, I'm not thinking of anything, there's nothing going on in my mind, so it worries me that when I do the general readings, if people don't necessarily like those readings, they're kind of like, you're so negative, blah, blah. It's like, you can't blame the reader. You really can't. It's not fair to go blaming a reader for that. Especially when it's, you know, when, a, when it's a reader like me who doesn't really, there's just nothing, I'm not in, you know, I'm not connected to this in any way, shape or form. You can't be on YouTube. If you do general readings for the signs, you can't be connected anyway. How can you? When you've got so many signs, I've got 12 to read for. Right now I've done six already and you're my, no, is it six? No, seven already and you're my eighth one. 
to, it, it, you know, it's just almost like being on a conveyor belt. You're just churning things off, churning things off, churning things off. So whatever, you, and you're doing it without even. There's nothing going on in the brain, you know. So, it to me, this looks like backstabbing, which may be why something doesn't get off the ground. Ace of Wands in the reverse, something not getting out off the ground. Uh, it's influenced by the Ace, the Tower energy. Something is falling apart here. I, I'm wondering if it's anything to do with finances. This looks like something you may have done and something that somebody may have done to you that you hear about, if that makes any sense. Let's have a look at what external factors contributing to that. Right, so yeah, the pressure, carrying a lot of pressure here. Struggles, Ten of Wands energy. So lots, and actually, um, that is definitely you, isn't it? Ten of Wands is last deacon in Sagittarius. So that's you on the card. Carrying all of those uh, wands, you're carrying a lot of struggles, a lot of struggles, you're carrying a lot of uh, burdens. So there's the external factors are that you're carrying a huge amount of burdens, which is why something isn't you're facing the Ace of Wands in the reverse, which unfortunately is something not it's not necessarily failure, but it is something that is not growing, it's not getting off the ground. I don't think somebody's done something to you here. I feel that you're under a lot of pressure with these cards. Now, we do have multiple tens in the reading, which talk about endings and new beginnings, a, a completion stage. So this could be you trying to complete a project here, for example. And what's influencing this? I think that this is an epiphany. I think that this is actually a realisation that something cannot be started or something cannot be nurtured. Because when you plant a seed with the aces, you've got to follow it through and nurture it. You know, whether it's an Ace of Swords, it's an idea that you have where you've got to follow it through and start nurturing the idea. Or the Ace of Wands, it may be something creative that you're endeavouring. The Ace of Wands really is just the seed. It's a, it's a wand. So it's a wand which we use. It's, what, it's a magician's wand that he uses to create. But the Ace of Wands in the reverse, so nothing is being created here. There's a seed that's being planted, but it's not being allowed to bloom. Uh, and I think that this is you. I think you're the one that's holding this wand in the reverse. Uh, Sagis, because I think that you've got a lot of work on the external factors is you've got a lot of work and you've got a lot of responsibilities there and I think that mentally with that Ten of Swords energy some of you guys are really under the cosh you're literally mentally done in really really tired and I think that the reason why something isn't getting off the ground is because of the tower the tower being the realization the epiphany that I can't nurture this thing because I'm under a lot of mental pressure here I've got a lot of work to do Ten of Wands energy so the reading isn't as bad as you think when I look at it in that way, because the Ten of Wands, Wands represent career as well, that can be somebody who's got a lot on their plate. They're carrying a huge amount of responsibilities. That could be your career, it could be in your home, it could be anything. But mentally, you've got a lot of pressure going on there. And there's an epiphany, I think, with this tower that you really... So this is your choice to do this. What have you been experiencing in the last few weeks, Sagittarius? Well, you've been experiencing... I mean, this could be a person here that you've been... Court cards are notoriously tricky to read because... Uh, they can either represent people or energies. So it might be that you've, there's been a person around you concerning the situation, or it might be with the King of Coins energy. King of Coins is success, though. You may have experienced some success in the last few weeks. Okay? You may have experienced... And I'm going to probably clarify that, because we could be looking at a person or we could be looking at an energy. So let's have a look. What do you mean they've been experiencing the King of Coins in the last few weeks? What do you mean they've been experiencing the King of Coins? That could be a tax person. That could be someone from the government. It could be a bank manager. Uh, who is this King of Coins? You said they've been experiencing the King of Coins in the last few weeks. What do you mean by that King of Coins in two cards? Right. So, um, the Knight of Wands. So, it could be an arrival. Knight of Wands, you've been experiencing. And all this could be an advancement, an improvement. Knights are notorious for advancing. Or it could be the arrival. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh my goodness, look what showed again. There he is. Again, same person. I think the arrival of this person, I think you've, you've experienced the arrival of somebody new in the last few weeks. Maybe this person here that's come into your life, Sagittarius, you can't get anything started with because you're too busy. And what's the epiphany? What's the tower? What do you mean the tower is influencing that ace of wands in the reverse? What do you mean the tower in two cards? What is this tower in two cards? Pick one card first. Yeah, I think it's clarity. I think it's an epiphany. I think it's a realisation because the Ace of Swords is clarity and it's an epiphany. It's realisation. Well, let's have a look. What this, what's this realisation then in one card? What's this realisation for Sagittarius in one card? 
Um, the sun. Okay. Um, So I'm asking, well, what is the what is the clarity that you've had and the sun? I think something's become very apparent to you because the sun is also clarity. I think something's become, I think there's a realisation. Maybe there's a realisation. No, 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 no. Actually, thinking about it, that wouldn't make any sense because we've already got a card that talks about you realising something and becoming very clear. So this must be what, this is what you're becoming clear on. Now, the sun card, if the, the this card here is the epiphany, right? We've got the, when you do tarot, the clue is in the reading. You're colouring the cards via what you're looking at. That Ace of Wands is reversed. It's not in the upright, it's reversed. So there's clarity here. And the reason that that's reversed is because you've had this major epiphany, this major breakthrough, this major realisation with the tower. And that major breakthrough, we're saying, well, what do you mean by the tower? We wanted more clarity on it. Well, they're saying, well, it's saying, Carol, we mean, what we mean is that, that Sagittarius has this, clarity this clear moment with the ace of swords i think that with the with the sun energy that this person is an egotist they're either an egotist or a narcissist because the sun when it's colored by certain cards it turns into something else it's not always the card of positivity sometimes this is the card of the show off sometimes this is the card of the narcissist sometimes this is the card of the, the egotist okay sometimes this is the card of the liar so I think that you realise that this person is probably a narcissist and you need to be on your guard. Nine of Wands is being on your guard against getting hurt. Okay, so I think that that's one of the reasons. But I also, let's have a look at what you're struggling with. What are they struggling with? You said the external factors are the Ten of Wands. You're struggling with something, which is why you won't do something. You won't get this started. What is, uh, what is Sagittarius struggling with with the Ten of Wands in two cards? Uh, well, you're struggling with your mind. The two of swords is you're indecisive. You're struggling. You're indecisive. You're in two minds with the two of swords. What are they in two minds about in one card? What are they about, uh, in two minds about in one card? Uh, page of Cups. I think it's whether to, uh, whether, whether to explore this relationship with the Page of Cups. Okay, you're struggling with your feelings, you're struggling to know how you feel with that page, but you're also struggling with whether you should start this relationship, whether you should engage yourself in the relationship. Because pages are on the journey of exploration, they're just children, they're starting out. With the page, he's finding out how he feels. He's exploring a new relationship. So you're in two minds and you're struggling because you're in two minds whether you should start a relationship with this person. I think that this is love. It didn't start off being love, but I think it is love. And I think it's your shot, it's your, and I'm really glad that the reading turned out like this, to be perfectly honest with you, I really am. Because it means that, um, what it means that is that you are in control of what happens here. I think you've, you, this person arrived in the last few weeks, this King of Coins, it might be a Taurus Virgo, Capricorn doesn't have to be, maybe this is a professional person or, you know, um, you know, somebody who's successful, they may be uh, dark skinned, black. Uh, Asian, that type of thing, because coins can be dark-skinned people. Uh, this could be somebody from abroad, for example, for example. For example, for example? For example, sorry. This could be somebody from abroad. He could represent all sorts of things, this person, male or female. But I think that you realise, I think there's a realisation that this is somebody who's a little bit narcissistic with the sun energy, and you need to be on your guard with that nine of wands, because you've been hurt before, so you don't want to get hurt again. Um, and the reason why you're doing this is because you have been deeply hurt with the Ten of Swords. You've been deeply, deeply hurt in the past, which is why you don't want to start anything with this person. And what's also contributing to not wanting to get anything started is because you've been struggling with your, with your, with your mentality, with the way that you think. You've been struggling because you're in two minds as to whether you should, Page of Cups, start this relationship, explore it with this individual. What's coming? So, what's the most likely outcome of this situation towards the end of uh, October? Well, you may just give this person a chance. You may just open your heart to this person. Because we have the Ace of Cups. So you may actually say, okay, I'll give you a chance. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's give this a go. Possibly. It's not reversed. You're not turning down the relationship. You're not leaving it. The Ace of Cups is healthy. It's in the upright. And you're saying, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me give, let me give this a chance. Let me give this a go, a go. Let me give this person the benefit of the doubt. What's coming in towards this area here, I always say is the last week in October. What's coming in towards the last week of October? 
right? So Page of Wands could be a message, could be just some fun. Uh, having some fun is the Page of Wands or a message, perhaps. Page of Wands message is pretty much always good. It's nice messages. If you get a Page of Swords, sometimes that's... Page of Swords, some people read Page of Swords as bad message. It's not. It's usually just an email or something. But it's really... The messengers with the pages, they're all really, really nice. The only, read, the only card I don't really read is a messenger card, unless it's to do with work, is the Page of Coins. But other cards, like the Page of Wands, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, I'll read them just as messages. So it could be a message, in, in, it could be an invitation as well, page of wands, energy coming in. Let's clarify and ask what do you mean by the page of wands is going to be coming in towards the end of October in this situation for Sagittarius in two cards. And this could be you, because this could be baby Sagittarius, you know, exploring this new uh, situation. Same card again. See that? Came out, same one, page of wands. Let's get the next one. Same card fell on it. Ace of Coins energy showing there. I think that this is you as the Page of Wands. I think that you're exploring this new potential because this is you're looking at this as new potential. I think you're deciding that you're going to explore this situation and you're looking at it, you know, building something. Ace of Coins is build, it's planting a seed and building something. It's nurturing it. So some of you guys, I think, with this Page of Wands are saying to yourself, and remember it clarified itself, double Page of Wands, this is you guys in your infancy stage of this relationship saying, you know what, actually, I think I'm just going to go out and have some fun. Uh, I'm going to start trying to build something with this individual, that type of thing. Now, I know that lots of us can't go out, but you might be doing this online or whatever the case is. What is the advice from the universe to you concerning this situation? It's telling you just to enjoy yourself. I think you just need to enjoy yourself, the Four of Wands. Just have a good time. You don't need to get serious. You don't need to, you know, we're in these kind of uncharted times. And uh, the Four of Wands is an excellent card for socialising. Even if you can't socialise and see the person, you can do it online or something. But just, in, this is a card of happiness. So just enjoy yourself. Just, you deserve a break. Just enjoy yourself, Sagittarius. I know some of you guys are kind of like, I don't want to get hurt again because you've been hurt. You've been deeply hurt, in fact, with that Ten of Swords. You've been really let down uh, by people in the past. And you're kind of like, I don't want to start this. Ace of Wands in the reverse. I don't want to start this. I've been deeply hurt by people in the past. You know, and I've just got this realisation or this really strong intuitive thing with the Tower Energy that there's a realisation, Ace of Swords, that this person might be a bit of a show-off. They may be a bit uh, of a narcissist. And I've got to be wary. I've got to be on my guard because you've got the Band-Aid around. And again, Nine of Wands is you, isn't it? Because it's Sagittarius. Second Deacon in Sagittarius is the Nine of Wands. So that's definitely you. You're all over this reading. That's you there, Nine of Wands. That's you there, Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands represent Sagittarius. It's the first, second and third Deacon in Sagittarius, okay? So that's you. You say, I don't, I don't want to get involved here. I've got to be wary of this dude because they come across as a bit of a show-off, a bit spoilt maybe. And I'm not surprised. He's a king of coins. This person has some very high values. Uh, stushed dresser, likes to dress nicely, has a way about, has a swag. That type of thing is the King of Coins. Very swagadocious, just like the King of Wands. Two cards, two kings that have real swag about them. This guy likes expensive clothing, wears nice gold watches, that type of thing. You know, crew cut hair, probably very clean cut. Might have a beard, but possibly very clean cut beard as well. Possibly could be dark skin, doesn't have to be, or dark haired, you know. Um, possibly quite tall. Male or female, quite tall. I mean, the female probably won't have a beard, but you know what I mean? They're, they're, the king of coins are going to be clean-cut people, you know? Very clean-cut people. They're not going to let it go. <clears throat> your king of cups will probably be a hippie or something like that, and even your king of swords. But the king of cups and king of wands, archetypally, very clean-cut, very stush dresses, you know, like to look nice, blah, blah, blah. So obviously you're going to be thinking, and, and also this person's probably very successful as well, Sagittarius. So along with all of that stuff that comes along with the King of Pentacles, you guys are going to be like, ah oh man, I've just had this kind of a realisation, clarity, this moment of clarity that this person's probably a bit of a narcissist and I need to be wary because I've been hurt in the past. So I'm not going to start anything with this person, but your heart will give way and more than likely you will decide to do that. 
I see you guys taking baby steps at first. You're just going to kind of, you're in the other page of wands. Your baby Sagittarius here. You, and remember, Sagittarius is, is uh, your sign likes to explore. You're the explorers of the zodiac. And the page of wands is an explorer. So there you guys are exploring the territory and deciding that you want to start. You can see potential in this. You're looking at the coin. You see real potential in this. You say, let me see if I can build something with this person. And even if it's just a friendship. Universe is saying, advise Sagittarius, just go out and have a good time. Just... Even if you can't go out, just have fun. Four of Wands. What are your hopes or fears? Well, the hope would be the Nine of Swords in the reverse. That this person is probably going to help you overcome your fears. You're hoping, in other words, that this person will prove you wrong. That's sorry about the shuttering um, table. You're hoping that this person will, will prove you wrong. That's what you're hoping for. So you go out and you have some fun. Whether you can go out or not. But you're going to have fun anyway. And you're going to explore. You've decided, I'm going to explore this relationship. Two pages here. Pages, multiple pages in a reading, and also you've got this ace. You're just on the start of the journey. You're just starting out. You're just starting to build this thing. So you guys, towards the end of October, the last week in October, are going to decide, I'm going to start building this thing. I'm going to start kind of exploring it, planting the seeds, and just seeing where it can go, because I'm just at the starting stage. Where is this going to lead to going into November? Well, it's going to lead to the Six of Coins. Which is, an, I'm not going to use the word give and take. I don't always use the word give and take for that reason. But I think that this is really you here as the merchant here giving this person a chance. But look at the person in the background. I think that you're partially going to give to this person. But I think you're leaving yourself open for more with that six of coins. Because I couldn't read it as, oh, it's going to be, you know, uh, this is, this is it's leading into November, into a relationship. That's given. It makes no sense to read it like that because you're not in anything with this person reading. Look at the, these cards coming in at the beginning of October. They're new. They're young. They've not even got off the ground yet. They're just young cards. You're just starting off on the adventure. You see potential with the Ace of Coins. You say, let me plant a seed here. Let me see what can be nurtured. I don't know whether anything can, but let me see if anything can be nurtured here. You know? But you're not putting all your eggs into one basket, which is why it's leading into the Six of Coins. So you are going to be paying some attention to this person. This person really likes you, actually. That's their... That's them there. They're the beggar there. That's you. You're in a place of power. It's leading towards you being in a place of power. Because the merchant is in the place of power. He has the power to give and to take away. So there you are. It's leading towards, in November, you being in the place of power as the merchant. Giving to this guy, this king of coins, who's all kind of like probably a bit braggadocious, whatever the case is, is now becoming this person. This person really likes you. Because you're not giving everything over. And that's the beauty of tarot. You can really read between the lines of these readings. You're not giving everything over. You've really looked at the situation. You said, I've been hurt before. And my epiphany is this person's a little bit of a... They're not sly. They're just a bit... They could be a bit narcissistic. A bit too overly confident. You're like, I don't really want that. I've been hurt by this type of person before. Nine of Wands. And I don't really want this shit, man. I don't really want this. You know? And I'm struggling because... I'm in two minds about whether I should give this a chance, whether I should start exploring this relationship. But you decide to do it. You say, okay, let me just take baby steps. Let me just have a bit of fun here. Let me just explore this thing. And so, you know, I like the potential. I mean, it might hold potential. He holds potential in the hand. The outer coins is the boy. That would usually be the page. But this is the boy with the uh, with the pentacle. So this person sees great potential. So you're going to, well, there could be some potential in this. Let me just, the universe says, yeah, go and have some fun. And that's why this puts you in the end, going into November, Sagittarius, in a place of power. In fact, you become far more, you become much more um, desirous to this person because this person is this person here and that's you, the merchant here. But you're still keeping your options open because you've got other people here. Okay? So I see you in a place of power by the end of November. You're not taking any prisoners and you're kind of saying, I'm going to have some fun. And you, this, is, this is the brilliant thing about this reading, Sagittarius. You started off, I think, taking this really seriously and fretting yourself to death over the situation. Oh my God, I've been really hurt. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't start this. I can't do it because he's going to hurt me or she's going to hurt me. And I've been... Until in the end, it's almost like you had this wake-up call. And you're like, actually... Forget it. Let's just go and have some fun. And if I deal with this in the way that a child would deal with it, even if it doesn't work out, I'll get over it quicker because I'm just going to take baby steps. For once in your life, Sagittarius, I think, you're not jumping from A through to Z. You're going from A to B to C to D. 
you're taking things one step at a time. So much so that it actually puts you in a real place of strength and power with that six of coins. Whereby now they are looking up to you. You're not putting them on the pedestal. They're now putting you on the pedestal. And you've got other people besides. So this is the brilliant thing with your reading. I see you keeping your... I think I might name the video that. Keeping your options open in, uh, in October. But well done. Well done for turning the situation around. I think that's excellent. Let's have a quick look at what the advice is. The spiritual advice is for this month for you guys. Um, Universe Spirit, what is the spiritual advice that you have for Sagittarius during the month of October? What is the spiritual advice you have for Sagittarius during the month of October in two cards? Saying paradise is the spiritual advice. Have a quick look at the book. So Paradise 21. This card indicates you are searching for the ultimate happiness in your life and have many unfulfilled desires. You may currently be unhappy about what's happening in the world or your own personal life and looking for inner peace and tranquility. The answers to your questions about the meaning in life, death and what really makes you happy will be answered, but be patient. You will have a lot more faith in the future. You will find greater spirituality and have greater satisfaction within your life. Yeah, brilliant. Fantastic. And then in relationships, so for career and finances, it says the Paradise card is a sign of good fortune for you. So feel more optimistic as things will start to improve. A more joyous career or life awaits. What others call castles in the sky or daydreams may become a reality if you have faith and believe in yourself and your abilities. Relationships. Secret worries about loved ones' health or loss of loved ones would see a time of reflection and pondering over past relationships. Those you have lost may visit in your dreams. The card is a good omen for meeting the ultimate life partner and having more harmony around the home. The Paradise card also indicates romantic travel to an exotic location. And that could very much be this as well. Travel coming up in terms of you know, romance, because the pages, the page of wands, any of the wand cards indicate travel as well. Have a good time. Fantastic. All right. That is your reading, guys, for the month of October 2020. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you would like your own private reading, please click on the link in the comment section below or the end screen. And also, please, please, please make sure that you like the video, that you share the video with those that you know, and also that you subscribe to the video if you have to the uh, channel if you haven't already. Most importantly, please, please comment. It really helps the growth of the channel and the algorithms. Love you guys very, very much, Sagis. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.